Hello there. Season 2 of Fortnite Chapter 3 is here. A war between IO and The Seven has begun, which means constant map updates are back. Whoop, whoop. The rumbling we felt underfoot ended up being this, a drill the size of a town filled to the brim with IO, coming to take our island. It's now time for us to be part of the resistance. We've got a lot to go through today, so sit your butt down for 10 minutes, slap in code Adamaru to help me out, and let's go through all those map changes and story secrets. It happened after only one season. The egotistical statue of the Foundation has finally been destroyed, as the IO declare war on the Loopers and the Seven. His torso is no more, laying in ruins on the beach, and take a look at his head. I bet Sloan is happy about this. Who thinks it will be rebuilt? Or maybe one day the statue will be remade in another's image. Over by Covert Cavern, things have evolved. Now the Imagined Order are aggressively taking over the island, a communication tower has been erected by the rear entrance and on top. New screens can be seen on these monitors, which could, as the season goes on, give us clues about the story of Fortnite. Last season, inside were stone walls, but take a look now. They are vault doors. Whether that's to withhold blasts from outside or to quickly bring additional troops to the island, or maybe equipment or new location is behind here, we'll know in the next 12 weeks. Either way, it's going to be epic. Oh, you remember those scanners that IO brought last season? You can find these all over this location and they are crazy overpowered. You can see chests and enemies. It's ridiculous. This IO home base is now unbelievably large and constantly expanding. Around the blimp on top is another ventilation system with more references to Midas's crew from a chapter ago. Meowzel's bobblehead is here and check out those epic slippers. The zeppelin outside is protected by this frightening dude who teleports near you after taking damage. He has shields for days, but if you do take him out, he'll give you the Huntmaster Saber's thermal rifle. An exotic version of the one you can find around the map. It's a freaking thermal scope and it's great. Oh, and if you like me and you like details, check out the Zeppelin. The control room here is incredibly detailed, showing the sheer size and complexity of IO's operation. The war will not be won easily by the Seven. And in here, there's so many IO bombs. This island may look a bit different soon. IO have gone out of their way to add checkpoints and outposts all over the entire island to closely control the streets. It's tough to go 100 meters without seeing IO's influence, whether that's barricades, anti-tank or sandbags, new makeshift IO buildings, and most POIs have now been commandeered, and a blimp sits above ominously. Even risky reels has been taken, IO have big plans here, planting their flag and unloading unreal numbers of items and equipment. They plan to reinforce these locations constantly, which feeds into potential changes that we'll see this season. I'm sure you've noticed the war lines on the map showing the strength and position of each side. Blue for seven, red is IO. As the loopers slowly take control of more of the red areas, these POIs will be claimed. So I expect the flags here to change to indicate who's controlling them at that point. We probably don't have control over who wins, but who would you pick? Are you IO or seven? Remember at the end of last season when the IO drill made those sinkholes and finally destroyed a seven outpost in the center of the island? Well, now they've claimed that as their own and are constructing another outpost, but this one seems way bigger than the others. A makeshift harbor is now functional. As we speak, another of IO's flatbed trucks with more supplies is approaching. They've even claimed the yellow house, forcing my favorite location into the war. Not cool, IO. Oh, can we uh, shout out to this forklift truck who is lifting boulders? This machine is built different. Let's start a new segment called Weird Easter Eggs I Don't Understand Yet. This one was first shown to me by Jess on Twitter. A new gravesite has been added, which is usually Fortnite's way of saluting something that happened to a player in game. But I don't know what this one means. A half buried car and two gravestones and a bunch of flowers. If you know what this is, please educate us in the comments below and I'll pin the answer if someone figures it out. <laughs> It's possible to follow the trail of devastation from IO's starting point to find the biggest drill on the island. It looks like it's the same one from the trailer. This place is like a motorhome. The level of detail here is like the blimps, yet with a detail that I really like. If you look at the drill bit on the front, it's still steaming and glowing red from cutting through the ground for weeks, reddened by the heat. Oh, and rest in peace, basketball court and Winnebago that once lived here. They've both been crushed or pushed down the slope. This drill is the place you'll find the most opposition to your survival. As slow 
alone and a crack set of troops are ready to do battle with you. And there's always people in bushes here, so be careful. When you have chance, take a peek at IO's occupation of Tilted Towers. They've claimed the whole thing, but one building in particular is very important. The No Sweat Insurance Building. Their banners and insignias cover walls and the windows are being boarded up ready to defend it. Inside, the diorama is still here, but everything else is filled with IO tech. The computers are locked down right now, but one day we will hack them to understand what's going on. I think the reason they chose this building is due to its uncanny ability to stay up under immense pressure. This is the building which withstood a volcano blast. If you're thinking the seven must be slouches, oh no no no, take a look on the south of the island and you'll see a huge new POI named Synapse Station, a guerrilla outpost for the seven which already shows us what's going to happen in the future. Inside the resistance are working on a battle bus, they are upgrading, adapting, altering it to create a tank of their own. We've seen them in the trailer and they look crazy fun to drive, and well IO's tanks are pretty meaty on the island right now, so we're gonna need these pretty soon. One of the big lore updates last season was the formation of the Joneses, a collection of snapshots of Agent Jones that declared their independence from the war between IO and the Seven. They swore to never fight again. This is now being tested in game right now, as the Joneses home is being upgraded and supported by the Seven. This does not mean they will fight, but it does mean they have the protection of the Seven and will likely be targeted by IO. The POI right now has minor defensive upgrades in place to keep the IO out, but for how long? Oh, and a tiny update, the cell underground, the door used to always get in the way when you tried to go down. Well, it looks like it annoyed enough people that the devs have clean taken it off its hinges and just thrown it on the ground. Quality of life upgrade, they call that. I don't know about you, but I was certain the Daily Bugle was leaving the Fortnite island. Yet it's actually still here and has been claimed by the Imagined Order. If this is a functioning newspaper outlet for the island, then be prepared for the IO to dictate what news spreads around the island. Another change from last season sees those five drills which popped up on the island to spell out order. They've now been converted into outposts in the good old hut watch style. Very modern, very chic. I like these. Sadly though, the Clumbos look like they've been removed, as many of their spawn areas are now completely decimated, ruined craters and broken trees everywhere. Let's hope they aren't extinct. And I'm gonna finish these episodes with Sofa Cam, checking on the triple chest spot with an epic couch in the center. This will one day be important to the story, and until that starts, Sofa Cam is here. <laughs> so what do you think will happen this season? My guess is that over the course of the season we'll slowly push back IO towards Tilted Towers before the final battle and hopefully an event happens. I'll be back later in the week to break down the story and lore if you're interested. And a quick thank you to everyone who used my code this week, I really appreciate it. Here's a bunch of legends who let me know. I'm Adam, you're awesome, I'll see you next time.